guys, it's September 30th, 2020. I'm Kimberly Jolly from Fat Quarter Shop Floss Tube. Super excited to be here today. And um, we're gonna kinda go through a lot of stuff that I'm gonna be doing, lots of finishes, lots of new stuff in the shop, which is super exciting. I wanted to start by talking about floss biddies. They came in and they're selling super well. We have two different packs right now. And this is how they look. Each of the packs comes with 20. This one is called Stitchy Floss Biddies. And you get five of the same ones four times. So you get 20 of these. So that, that's stitchy. So it's got a needle, scissors, thimble, and floss because you know it's a floss bitty you need some floss now lily released for us the video on this the video is called introducing the floss bitties by it's so emma and that that video will show you how you can put your dmc on there some different options it will also show how you can put weeks dye works on there and it's a very inexpensive way to cuten up your floss of course, this is just, you know, an accessory. You don't have to have it. One thing you can do is you can put a ring on there on the top to keep it together, or you can just throw these in the bag. I'm more of somebody who will just throw this in the bag. So that is our first one. Those we will have forever. Now the next set goes with Fright Night, which is our new PDF that is releasing on Friday. And they're Fright Night floss bitties, and the same thing five each of four designs so halloween and on the back it says fat quarter shop in black now these are limited editions so we're going to do a print run on these and when they're gone they're gone i can tell you that 25 percent have sold as of monday when i looked so we will be doing these with our pdf patterns that we offer but we're going to do them as a one-time run so that is the fright night floss biddies and it's like shuffling cards. Um, I wanted to show you, this is how they would look. This is how it looks in my bag. So when I start Fright Night, they're already ready to go. So basically I just took my Weeks Dye Works straight off of the card that it came with. And then I used the Stitchery Tape by It's So Emma and put them down just like that. So this will be ready to go when I'm ready to start Fright Night. So one thing you can do is you can also put it around and you can put um, some on both ends, which is sometimes what I do. So if I've started working on like one of the things I might put, a le if I have small scraps, I might put them over here. I probably won't use the ring, so I'll probably use this for ones that I've already kind of gotten into. And I'll probably just use this as I go. And then when I go to store it with all of my other fancy floss, I'll probably wrap it around. But you can easily see the name. So let me know if you'll have any questions on floss bitties. They're so exciting. I'm excited about them. And I'm excited that they finally came in. They literally came in last Wednesday, like right after Floss Tube ended. <laughs> and I wanted to cry. Oh. Uh, from Gail Stale, love your table topper. So cute with the floss bitties. Thank you. So I made that this weekend on our quilting channel, which is just Fat Quarter Shop. You can subscribe there. We are doing a free pattern every Friday for a uh, called Social Lights. And the blocks come on Fridays and they're available in three, six, and nine. So for this week, and I'm gonna demo every Friday how to do the block from start to finish, cutting all the way through. And I bought a new side table at Home Goods because I got a new stitchy chair. So I was so excited. I found me a $49.99 table. So excited. And um, I went home and thought, well, I need a table topper. So I came up with 12 inches and then I thought, well, I can either do four six inch blocks or 12 three inch blocks. So I put this together, I finished it yesterday and I used scraps. And you can see what I did is I put my darker fabrics on the outside 
and my lighter fabrics on the inside. And I'm gonna talk more about this on Friday's live stream, but I thought it's not quilted either. So I literally just finished it. And so one of the things we talk about is starching on our quilting channel. It will literally stand up. It is full of starch. That's the only way I can get it to work. But I am very excited about it. I used my scraps for Scrappy September, which is something that um, we were doing on our quilting channel. But I thought, you know, since I made it, I should show it and it matches all the stuff. The fabric is all Hollow's Eve, which was reprinted by Moda and just came back in stock. Ooh. I mean, part of it, like half of it's all Hollow's Eve. And then I pulled like five fabrics for my scraps. From Mimi R. So when you are stitching, do you have to take all the floss out and take out what you need and then put it back? Yeah, I'll show you. So what I would do here is I already cut these off. These are Weeks Dye Works. I already cut off into five strips. So you just take one off. For example, that one. You can put it back on. And then what I would do is kind of pull, like pull one off. That's how I pull my thread off. And then say I'm gonna stitch with this one right here. Now this has, instead of six strands, now it has five. So since I've already pulled it, I would probably just put this over here. And it's so easy to put on and off. And then I would just put this in the loop method and start stitching. Because on fancy floss, I do the loop method, even though I know that's not what you're supposed to do, but that's what I do. And then I'll just put it back on there. So I'll have like my full stuff down here and my leftovers up here. You could wrap it around the side, and that's how I'll do at the very end. But while I'm stitching, I'll just do it real easy like this. Okay, from Susan McCallan, are the rings sold separately? Yes, they are, and they're not made by us. They're made by a company called Yarn Tree, and they're just called rings. Okay. And um, I, think, I think you can get different sizes also, like at Hobby Lobby or DMC that are like small, like smaller rings or bigger rings. I prefer to use it without the rings, though for some reason. From Princess P, Holly Martin, are you still working on a storage container for the floss bitties? Yep. And we're getting a sample. I heard yesterday Ooh. through a little birdie that there's a sample coming. Ooh. I think I heard that right, or maybe it was something else. <laughs> From Meg Cullum, are the floss bit, what are the floss bitties made of, paper or plastic? They're plastic. They're actually not plastic. There's something else. I, they're, I don't know exactly what they're called. I don't know. We'd have to ask Jocelyn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but they're not papery. Yeah, they're not papery. They're definitely plastic, but they might be, I don't know, the details. So now I'm going to show you again uh, Stitchtober. Stitchtober is an event that I do with Lori Holt. Now, if you're interested in what Lori Holt is doing, she published a video on her channel, which is Lori Holt, on Friday. She went in detail about everything she's stitching. She talked about the fabric she's using, the floss, and she's gonna be posting um, on her Instagram. Now, what we're gonna be doing is, when this starts, it's gonna start tomorrow. I'm gonna stitch from October 1st to November 15th. Lori is gonna stitch October 1st all the way to Halloween, I mean, Thanksgiving. So she's gonna stitch longer. It's just a way to encourage you to stitch um, Halloween or fall for, um, the month of October and November. And so I'm gonna show you kind of what I'm doing. I did wanna let you know at 9 a.m. every morning, we're gonna post on Instagram and Facebook, which is Fat Quarter Shop, you wanna follow us, what I'm doing that day and what my goals are. And then in the afternoon at 6 p.m. every night, we're gonna show you what I have finished. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I have on the bucket um, for stitched over. I've already shown this once, but I'm just going to show it again. So my very, so what I did is I went ahead and I've already filled out my stitch journal. One of the questions that we get a lot is how do I stay organized? This is how I stay organized. It does take extra time. 
I know I have the worst handwriting. This is actually my handwriting, really, really um, me taking a long time to write. But this is how I stay organized. So this is kind of, you know, October 1st, October 2nd, October 3rd. This is my cross stitch journal. So the very first day, and I also wrote down like the day of the week so that I can remember that. So my very first day, I'm going to be working on this bag. I'm gonna work on mix, mix and match. So this bag was made by Christy of Crosshatch Quilts. She sells her bags on Etsy. And she also has a floss tube channel. So it's um, Crosshatch Quilts. So this is overcast. And the great thing about my journal is I write down what I'm stitching on because for example, I'm gonna work on something today and I need the colors of something I used on a previous ornament. So I'm gonna go back to that book that's in Denise's office and order those threads. So I'm stitching on Overcast 25 Count Lugana by Lori Holt. And I will be stitching the Halloween 2020 Mix and Match on the first day, which is Thursday, which is tomorrow. I'm gonna do the entire border if I finish it. Now, if I don't finish it, then I would, um, just do some more later in the week but I'm hoping to get all of this done and then also that would be tomorrow and then later in the week on Saturday I'm gonna stitch the cup and these all the information on this is on our blog but this is a free download right here and you have to buy the patterns that go within each now what she's showing is let's see hot chocolate is the first block from set c and then this is used from set a she's using let's see the crow from farm girl fall and one of these blocks from quilty love which is let's see it's this one no, it's this one. So it's right here. And all of these come out to the same dimension. That's why she's doing the stitch cards so that you can mix and match. So from this set, she is doing the flower. And you can see the flower that she made. She totally changed the colors to be fall and then all four of these. And I am using the Halloween 2020 mix and match thread pack by DMC. Sorry, it's a mess. And Denise did this really nice chart where when you start your first block, it will tell you exactly what colors are used. So if you wanna make it just like us on your thread pack, it will tell you exactly what to do because obviously we've changed the colors. And of course, Lori picked all of these colors for us. So I kinda did a bigger bag on this one just because it's got so much. And I did find this bag. I don't even know if we sell it anymore. I went ahead and went through my um, thread that I have at home. And I pulled the threads that I already had on these floss flowers. And the floss flowers are made by Lori. I'm going to show you the difference. These, she wanted these super thick and they don't bend. See? They're more expensive. These are less expensive, but they do bend. So it's really gonna be up to your personal preference. So what I did is I took my, took this, and I went to my thread, and anything that I already had on a floss flower, I put in my bag. So that I, and then if I don't use this, I will just set it aside or whatever. And this is just a bag that I don't even know if we have it anymore, or if I know it's made by Moda, but I just threw that in there so that I'm prepared. And that way, one of the things I did between the last two videos is I got all my thread prepared. And I put her new needle minder on there. So that's the first one. And I'm gonna show it to you actually in person. So Cheryl stitched this for us. We're gonna do a video later on how to finish this. This is a plain, white pumpkin that was bought at Hobby Lobby for super inexpensive. Cody and Denise painted this with black paint 
and oh my gosh, my nail polish looks fluorescent on that black. And then we put a library card by Lori Holt on the back. So this is what it's going to look like when we're done. So my very first week, I hope to have the border and the cup done. When I do the border, I am probably gonna add all these green. I'm gonna probably include that as part of it. And this is Vintage Trim by Lori Holt. And this is Fabric by Lori Holt. And we did a little bow. At the very end of Stitchtober, we will take my piece and do a video on how to do this. And this is a very inexpensive finishing option because this was just plain like brown board. And it's super thin and then they also did sandpaper. So that is one project that I'm doing that is two different days. And you're gonna see that I'm doing a lot of things, I'm piecing them out, and the reason I'm doing that is so that I can actually finish. The next item I'm gonna show you is Fright Night. This is a mystery, five part mystery, and you can see a little sneak at the top, right? But this Friday will be your very first email if you purchase this. Thank you everyone who has purchased this. I truly appreciate the support that you trust us to do a magnificent design for you. This is finished on a, just this was a board with words on it from Hobby Lobby. These are Priscilla's pretty plaids that are now in stock. We will have more in stock next week. And um, this is your part one. So if you've signed up Friday morning when you come to get on your email, I'm trying to show the bow. Priscilla finished this for us also. So she will put this on her blog with any details. So I know she got this pick. I think she got it at Michael's. And then the bow she probably did. So Priscilla finished that for us. So this is a five part mystery. It's a PDF. And I'm gonna start that this week. We have the bag, the needle minder. This is my favorite needle minder we've ever done. It's cute, right? It's very cute. So on this one, these are actually already done. I pulled them from that. And what I do is I left, now my thread pack from Weeks Dye Works came and it has leftovers. So I left the leftovers in here. I have this ready to go. And I have an extra pack. This I am going to be stitching on Friday on 14 count hazy gray dyed effect by Fabric Flare. Fabric Flare, I'm going to be using Ada. This is screen printed. So on one side it looks hand dyed, but it's screen printed. And on the other side it's white. I love the feel of it. And I'm excited to have Ada. Now, when you sign up to get the PDF, like if you went today and bought it from us, you would get this page. Friday, you're gonna get this page and another page. And so I have them all printed out because obviously I've seen them all, but I can't show you. The pattern is in color. We have a Weeks Dye Works pack and a DMC pack. Now I'm gonna show you one thing so that um, everybody understands this one thing. When you're looking at this pattern, there are three different oranges in Weeks Dye Works. Cheryl stitched this and she used weak side works. So she used dark, medium, light, dark, medium, light, dark, medium, light with weak side works. To get that effect with DMC, you also have dark, medium, light here. The difference is you can see the variegation in the weak side works. And you can see that she did one square at a time to really get that variegation. So you're gonna get a similar look to DMC, but it's not gonna be the same. So it depends how vintage you want it to look. I just kinda of wanted to be clear about that because this thread pack doesn't have as many colors, it is going to give a different look. And both looks are totally fine. Do whichever one you would like. Now I am going to try to finish this entire thing. I'm not sure I will be able to, but we'll see. Of course, my very favorite thing in the whole world to stitch is text so I know I will get that done first and the white this is a spider web it might be a little complicated so that is 
Friday. On Saturday is what we already talked about, which is the cup from Mix and Match. Trucking along October is Sunday. So this pattern is by Priscilla and Chelsea of Stitching with the Housewives. This little bag I bought from Dot Dot Goose, Denise on Etsy. And I always have something in this bag because I love my dogs. My dog's name is Piggy. Mm -hmm. So this is October. I'm stitching on 14 count chalkboard black, which I stitch so many things on. And I am going to probably put these on floss bitties just for the fun of it. But these are the colors. I got the kid as part of the club. And the way that I am going to do this one is I'm gonna to try to do October. I am concerned that I might not finish because there is so much start and stop in the candy corn, but we'll see. And there are chickens and I'm gonna replace the chickens with something else, who knows what. And I think it's funny because we get so many comments about the chickens. I've got a chicken controversy going. And if you watch Lori's <laughs> video, it's hilarious because she says, chickens, chickens, I love all the chickens, I want all the chickens. So I texted her and I was like, Lori, do you know that you said chicken, chicken, all the chickens, you want all the chickens? So anyway, I'm gonna not do the chickens. It's okay if you like chickens. I don't have to like chickens, it's mm -hmm. okay. It's true. Lily can like the chickens and I cannot <laughs> like the chickens. I'm scared of chickens. Ooh. Okay, the next day is Monday and this is Calvin and Trixie. And let's see, this one I have kind of a mess. This is, This is, you can buy a thread pack. So I've already taken the thread pack. I'm gonna use the exact same colors that Priscilla and Chelsea called for. This is a Stitching with the Housewives pattern and I never change their colors. I always just do their colors. So this is the thread pack I bought. I'll throw it in my bag. I'm stitching this also on 14 count Hazy Gray by Fabric Flare. And on this one, I'm going to do the left pumpkin. So I kind of consider this a border. So this week, I'm going to try to do this part. And then next week, I'll do this part. And I did ask Priscilla a favor. I said, can you make me a piggy that comes out? <laughs> so she said she would. So I'm crossing my fingers. So because I was like, I don't really want a witch coming out of my cat. So I'm going to have a cat and a dog. So this will be on Monday. And this bag, Lily and I did a video. It is, um, this is our gingham on the go bag. It comes as part of the set and it will actually sit up. Ooh. And we stitched this on camera and we used our cross stitch alphabet and some RF floss. I did this at the pool with my kids. Super easy, super fun. And I like that it's got the black cause it's kind of like Halloween. Let's see. The next one is Pumpkins for Sale by Lori Holt. I'm gonna work on this on Tuesday. And this is Lori's Prim Project Bag. This one is, I kind of have all my thread in there. There's a lot of thread, so it's all in here already. I'm not gonna pull all that out. It's kind of a mess. So it came in the thread pack. All of our thread packs have this beautiful artwork on them. And so this is her brand new pattern and it's called Pumpkins for Sale. I am going to be stitching with Weeks Dye Works. I'm stitching on her Barley 25 count, which is the sample was made on. Now this one was stitched with DMC by Denise, so I'm gonna show it to you. My goal is to do the pumpkins. That is a lot. And one thing that I do do that you're gonna see in Stitchtober is I give myself a ton to do the first week so that I have enough energy. So this is gonna take me forever, whereas after that, you know, these little flowers aren't gonna take very long. So this is going to take a long time. And this is one of Lori's medium design boards that I just throw in here. And I'm gonna show you the sample that Denise made. Oh my goodness, I spilled my tea, hold on. Oh no, sorry. Here we go. So this one was stitched by Denise with DMC. So you're gonna see that, and we can compare next week when I stitch my week's dye works. 
it looks great in DMC. This is the cream lace. It's called natural lace actually by Lori Holt. This is a Lori Holt prim fabric. This is from Hobby Lobby. On the back of the pattern, we tell you the item number for this. Super cute. I love the little line on his face. I'm very, very, very excited about this one because it's nice, it's big, and it's kind of like you get a big art piece. Mm -hmm. We're going to also do a video, Denise says, on how to finish this. And so the great thing about Denise is she just stands in the background and she tells me what to do because I don't know how she finished it. <laughs> um, but it's so cute. Oh my gosh, I just love this one so much. This is probably the one I'm the most excited about. And I'm going to hand that back. Sorry. And then autumn typography will be for the week after, but I'll go ahead and show it to you just because it's in my bucket. So this is, well, why did I close my book? <laughs> because, okay, I'm stitching on 14 count water lily by Witchell. And I found this in my stash because I got this as part of my Witchell Fabric Club. I bought the DMC Thread Pack. I converted my own colors. This is a Pine Mountain Design pattern. I'm super excited because I'm going to Lori's house in a month and a half and I am going to try to meet up with the designer, Sandra, so that I can look at all her patterns. So I'm gonna try to do this top row, the hay rides and apple cider, but that's for next week. So, and this, uh, the same thing, I bought this, but I went home and any of these that I already had on my floss flowers, I threw in my bag. Because I tried to use up what I have already. And um, the, Denise did this, thank you Denise. So she took the original versions, colors, so Sandra's colors, I picked my own colors and so when you're stitching with it, if you have this, it will tell you exactly what I'm doing. So that's what I have for Stitchtober. I'm also going to show you this cute little bucket is kind of how I'm storing it. So Denise and Cody found this for me at Hobby Lobby. And all my bags fit in here. And it's very Halloween. And it's cute. And so you can put it on here by... Um, by day. Now I did look, I don't think they sell this online because I did look. It's not online because I was going to look to see if they had like another color and they don't. So you can just find this in the store. It's pretty inexpensive. It's just like a wire at the top and then it's, but it's cute. I always want everything to look cute. So it looks cute. So let me know if you'll have any, well I'll just leave this here in case you'll have questions. Let me know what questions you'll have on any of the Stitchtober. And of course, go look at what Lori's doing. What's great about this with Lori is she's, her look is so different. She's got stuff that is um, primitive and really hard and like 36 count. I mean, I don't even know how she can see those holes. Her look, my look is more easy beginner and her look is totally different. She's also got more Halloween in hers than I have in mine. And the it's, it's just great because it gives you an idea of what you can do and what appeals to you. So if you like what Lori's doing, do what Lori does. If you like what I'm doing, do what I do. You can do one project. You can do 10 projects. I think Lori's doing 17. So, and I didn't mean, last week she said that I said, she's doing 17, she can never finish them. I didn't mean she can never finish them. I just meant she's not gonna finish them during Stitchtober. Mm -hmm. But I didn't mean she's never gonna finish them because I know she's gonna finish them, just not, like I'm gonna try to finish mine within Stitchtober. Another thing that I thought I could talk about, one of the questions that I see over and over and over on my YouTube comments, because I do read every comment, is how do you get so much done, blah, blah, blah. Like, how are you so organized? Okay, this is my life right here. This is how I am. This is how I get so much done. There are days right here. I'm not going to show too much because it's going to give away the future, but there are days and I have to be done by that day. There are days I have to be done by that day. This is how I live my life with the journals and the paper. So the paper tells me what I need to be doing and then I put it in my journal and then when I'm at home, I just work on the journal. And then when I come back to work on Monday, I update it and then I see, okay, am I on track, am I on track? So 
the, this also helps because it helps Denise to know, okay, what am I working on? What is next? So that we don't, you know, I don't have to constantly tell her, you know, da, 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 da. She can just look, she knows what I'm doing and it just keeps me on track. This has lots of secret stuff. This has all, so we had a meeting with Lori on Monday. We have everything planned for what Lori's doing next year, everything planned for what we're doing, and anything I knew about that Priscilla and Chelsea were doing. So um, they get priority and they're on here, if I know about it. And then I just add what I like throughout the year. So you'll see I add um, Pine Mountain Designs, Hands-On Design, Little House Needleworks, Country Cottage Needleworks. I'll add whatever, whatever um, that I like as it comes out but it does keep me on track. Oh, and then this is how y'all, y'all sometimes ask, how do you, this is my drawing to Denise. <laughs> like these are my like drawings. Like, oh, let's do this. Everything I do is on paper, handwritten. That's how I operate. Um, I keep the spreadsheet just to keep me on track, but that's, I just thought, well, you know, this is in my desk. I'll just show them kind of what I do. I am. I don't want to say OCD, but I'm just super organized and that's how my brain functions and files things away. Everyone learns differently and processes differently, but that's just my method to my craziness. So I'm still talking. I'm sorry. Follow us on Instagram at FQSX Stitch and Facebook at FQSX Stitch also. And like this video and, and subscribe. Subscribe, please. Um. Okay, questions. From Life So Crazy, will there be fall theme floss biddies for those of us who don't celebrate Halloween? Next year. From Candace Manival, can we still purchase Fright Night? Yes. And you can purchase it throughout. So if you're on the fence and you're like, oh, I'm not really sure I like the, you know, spider web or something, but then when you get to part three and you love it, you can still purchase it. You just get the past three. So you can purchase it at any time and then after it's over, it'll just be one file. But if you're not sure and you're not sure if you're gonna like it, you can wait. From Kimberly M. Honeybee, would Fright Night look good on purple fabric? Yes, Denise is like, yes. yes. Uh, from Gail Stale, can we get on a wait list for Colorworks thread? Colorworks? Classic Colorworks. Oh, Classic Colorworks. Okay, the Floss Flix, sorry. Classic Colorworks Floss Fix Club. She cannot add right now due to DMC demand, but um, if you want to be on a wait list, email elva at fatquartershop.com and that's, if somebody cancels or something, we can um, do that. Or Kathy, C Kathy, C-A-T-H-Y at fatquartershop.com. Email one of them and um, at, if somebody cancels, we can email you or something. From Molly Svet, sorry, Sevsik, is the prim bag a mesh bag? This is the same exact material as this. They're both mesh and you can stitch on them. One of Lori's ideas for this that I'm going to get to is she thinks that putting something from the prim series, which is coming out um prim stitch series it's a monthly she saying she said you know putting something from the prim stitch series on this bag because it matches so that would be great and there is an idea it's just that the one that i want to do is in like month seven so eventually i will stitch something on here right now i can't because it'll give away a future design and also i don't have time to do it right now but putting like a little motif from stitch series prim stitch series from Gail Stale, is the background in Denise's barley for her pumpkins for sale? Yes. So Denise did barley. She used DMC. I'm using barley and using Weeks Dye Works. And the reason we kind of do that is so that you can see kind of the difference. Now, on this one, I'm also using Weeks Dye Works, but I'm not going to do it X by X. I'm going to do it in rows, and you're going to see the difference. That way, when we're on, we can kind of show you different different ways to do things so that you can decide what you think would work best in your home. From Sally Dixon, how do you keep up with which project is in what bag? I have a lot of these bags. I don't keep up with them. I just, op I literally open them. Oh, is it in here? I mean, after a while, I'll remember, but anything that's mm -hmm. kitted, I have two of these. One is current, and then I have a white magnolia box that's broken that I 
desperately need to get fixed. Um, and that has stuff that is for the future. These both stay in my stitching room. But if I, I just open them. And then sometimes I lose them. Don't ask Denise how many times I lose things. <laughs> because it's a lot. That's funny. That's one thing is I'm super organized with, with um, my schedule. In terms of things, I lose things quite a lot. Like my shoes and my house, forget it. I never know where my shoes are. I never know where my purse is. I'm always like going to Starbucks. Oh, where's my purse? And then my kids are like, oh, mom, where is your purse? They have to go find it. And then half the time I leave it in my car because it's in a garage. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I can never find my purse. That's funny. Okay, from Hudson Johnson. So do you do only one project a day? I am doing one project a day. And the goal is to finish it by the end of Stitchtober. So each part I have sectioned out by week and it's on a spreadsheet. I plan it on a spreadsheet like this so that I think it out. After I do that, I put it in my book and I go by my book. I know that's a lot of work to a lot of people. It's just the way that I function and how I do things. Mm -hmm. Uh, fun comment from Miasia Osby, Kimberly's formula, deadlines, journal, stitch, quilt, repeat. Yes. Yes. And Let I didn't do as much stitching this week because I did this little ditty and this little ditty took a long time, but it is kind of funny. Like if I could get it to stand up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I know I had to finish it yesterday. Uh, okay, from Maria Schmitz, do you have a tip when you fly with your cross stitch, uh, sorry, with your cross stitching projects and the notions I can take? Oh, when you fly in the airlines, I take my bags, I take my yellow scissors. I don't have any here right now, but they're small enough. Mm -hmm. If you're worried about it, there are. I don't think we sell them, but in cross stitch stores, they mm -hmm. sell like the lanyards mm -hmm. that have like a little circle and you can like it's a blade on there but it's tiny and you they just think it's a necklace but it qualifies under the tsa requirements mm -hmm. lily what is it's like four there's it's a three inches three inches for scissors so that if you go to the lily was so nice she went to the tsa rules on mm -hmm. airlines and as long as your scissors are under three inches you're fine the needles are also fine yeah yeah it is also sometimes just up to the tsa agent you get so they might yeah i've never had a choice. i've never had a problem but if you're yeah. really worried about it you could take um nail clippers they oh, would yeah. do the same thing yes and i mean i don't know why they wouldn't let you do nail clippers yes nail clippers the, those are a go those are good okay good then there you go <laughs> denise is like what i use nail clippers if i have to yeah yeah well for a while you couldn't take them but um it's been years since you can yeah. okay lily knows everything about flying <laughs> lily has that pass you oh, want to no. go on vacation with Lily. Lily oh has gosh. some kind of pass. I didn't even know what it was. It's, I flew it's with the pre -check. her. What is it? TSA pre-check. She has pre-check yeah. on everything. Yeah. So the first time I flew with her, she was like, wait, don't take your shoes off. We're going through pre-check. I'm like, what? <laughs> yeah, Let me tell you, whatever she has, that's what I need to get. I think my mom <laughs> has it. I don't know, but it's awesome. So when you fly with Lily, you know, I don't ever check in. I let her check me in because then I get TSA pre-check when she, she's like, she yes. flies fancy. I need whatever <laughs> she has. Fancy. That's because funny. I was like taking off my shoes and she's like oh you don't have to do that I'm like oh what yeah because you're like a trusted traveler at that point yeah yeah anyways yes flying uh from Rosalind Parnell is Fright Night a reasonably quick project to stitch mm, I would say probably 30 or 40 hours so if you space it out yes but right here it's a lot of stitching so if that gives you any kind of hint. The next week will be, next week is right here. And that's super easy. The weeks after over here, ooh, ooh. there's a lot of stitching. Okay. Uh, Lori Holt says that she is also using barley on hers, but she tea dyed it. So that's yes. Okay. So I forgot to tell you that. Okay. She tea dyed and she showed it on her channel. And oh my gosh, it is amazing how she tea dyes. But I about had a fit when she was like doing it. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so crazy how she does it. You got to watch. It's amazing. It's, I had no idea that's how she tea dyed. And then I texted her something and she said, well, that's how I've been doing it for years. I'm like, I'm sure you have. I'm going to her house and I thought, you know, she could teach me, but I would never, I would never really use it because I'm so like scared of it. But it's amazing. That video is great. It's part of her video she posted last Friday with Stitchtober. 
Mm-hmm. All right. And then we have a few super chats that have been coming in. Uh, the very first one was from Valeria Bauer for 1999. Thank, Thank you, you, Valeria. She's our biggest fan. She she always is the first one to do a chat. It's true. Without fail. Thank you so much, Valeria. We really appreciate it. And our next super chat was from Doc Doc Goose Designs Denise for $10. Uh, she put a little fox saying thank you and going like this. Thank you. I'll have to use it to go buy a bag. <laughs> to go buy another bag. I have all her bags. That's funny. Um, and she also says, I love the live streams and the money is from Miss Gracie. Oh, Gracie's her little kitty cat. Oh, so cute. It's a great kitty cat. Uh, and then we had a super chat from Cindy Jensen for forty nine ninety nine. And she says, happy fall, y'all. Thanks for the fun things you bring to us. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Thank you so much, Cindy. That will buy me 10 Starbucks (laughs) or 20 Starbucks. That's a lot of Starbucks. Yes, but thank you so much for the Super Chats, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to take a little break. Lily's going to show you what is on Flash Sale today, and then I have a um, a great something to show you right after. So I'm going to try not to spill my tea. Okay. Intermission music. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Ta da! Hi everyone. I'm Lily. Uh, I will be showing you today's flash sales. And let me just cut to top camera here real quick. Excellent. So flash sales for today. First one is Winter Whirly Gig uh, from Heart and Hand. Very cute. I love these little whirly gig patterns because they're all like um, like elongated. And this is a pattern I actually want to stitch. It's Ice Lemonade Cross Stitch Pattern by Madame Chantilly. And it's actually held this way, sorry. But I've seen this on our website for a long time and I'm very tempted to stitch uh, this one, Ice Lemonade. Get a head start on summer. Yeah, so those are our flash sales for today. And hello everyone, I'm Lily. I'm usually behind the camera. Uh, if you guys aren't from Texas, you might not know who this guy is. Um, his name is Bucky. Uh, there are gas stations all over Texas called Bucky's, and Denise, lovely Denise, uh, Floss Whisperer here, is the person who introduced me to Bucky's when I moved to Texas. And ever since I'm obsessed, they're a whole, they're just an experience, and every time I travel, I try to go through uh, Bucky's if I'm driving. But yeah, this is like a Halloween t-shirt that I bought last year, and he actually glows in the dark. And on the back, yeah, it's really cool. On the back it says, Booyah. Oh, you can kind of read it, hang on. Boop. Yes, but yes. What else can we chat about? Um, I'll put the flash sails away so they're not in Kimberly's way when she gets back. And, and what? Have you started stitching? Oh no, I have not started stitching. I am doing lots of uh, quilty things right now. Everyone's down. <laughs> I, I did say by the end of the year I would start stitching that is my promise to y'all but right now sewing and quilting are taking up my uh crafty time yes and Kimberly's back and I didn't knock over her tea today so I'm very proud uh, well I did I knocked it over <laughs> that's <you>. funny <laughs> so the word I was looking for in my mind was trunk show I was <sighs> like what is the word so little stitch girl she sent us a trunk show to show you and i'm so excited about it because i have found that a lot of people will decorate either fall or halloween so you will see that most of mine are fall so i had her send halloween so i'm going to show you all of hers the very first one i'm going to take this away it's called bed and breakfast this is from the spooky hollow series there is a pattern set and we'll show it um, at the end. There, this She stitched all of these on 28 count even weave in spooky hollow fabric from Fabric Flare. And we have that fabric on order. There is a free border on her site and also on her YouTube channel. And you can stitch all of these together in a six by two setting or a four by three. Now, obviously that would be huge because these are all big. So this is the first part of the series. These all stand up. So this is, 
I'm not going to pretend to know how she did it. I'm just going to show you as much detail as I can. This is a really nice rope. I'm not sure if she made it or bought it. And the pumpkins on the back. And they all stand up. The next one is coffee shop. There are a total of 12. So look, Lily can go get some witch's brew coffee because Lily drinks coffee. Oh. This is a dance hall. So cute, it's like Dracula. <laughs> He's dancing. They're doing the monster mash. And then the next one is coffin shop. Dracula's coffins. Ooh. And you can see some of them are different sizes and she incorporates that. The next one is Pumpkin Park. This is my favorite one because in, in um, Buda where we work, there are a lot of gazebos. Right, Lily? Yeah. So it kind of looks like the gazebo downtown and I like the cobblestone. Super cute. The next one is a library. And look, Lily can go read her books in the library. Yes. Because Lily likes to read and then they're kitty. I love to read. Oh, like the ghost. The ghost is reading. He, oh, he That's really is. That's cute. So cute. The next one is Sweets Shop. So this is great if you are somebody who likes to decorate for Halloween with purple, black, green, that kind of thing, because I felt like I was really giving you only fall. The next one is a cemetery. And there's a little, um, what do you call that? Um, Frankenstein? Yeah. Oh, it's Frankenstein. Or zombie? It's zombie! Like Frankenstein zombie was the zombie. word. A little zombie. And then barber shop. And she finished all of these the same. So they all have the bottom and they all have the same back. Mm -hmm. So pretty. And she has a YouTube channel. So if you want a tutorial on how to do this, you can ask her. Her and her mom do a YouTube channel together. This is boutique. That's where I need to go. The boutique? Yeah, I need to go shopping. Oh. The next one is the schoolhouse. And I like that. It could also be a barn, like if you wanted to turn it into a barn. And then the next one is stitchery for all of us stitchers. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to get the pattern set, which is all 12, we put together a set of all 12. So you can buy them individually or as a set. And again, on her channel, about a year ago when she released this, she, her and her mom did a full video that I watched that talked about um, how you can do them separately, how you can do them together. So if you want more information on that, it's on her website and on her YouTube channel. The next one is so cute. It's called Ooh. Tricks and Treats. And it's a candy corn. I love it. So cute. So this, let's see where she got this. Oops, it doesn't say. And oops. I think I'm it swings around. So she used um, sticky board probably. But you can definitely ask her any questions on how she finished any of these. So cute, a big candy corn. This would look good in my sewing room. The next one she sent is called Haunted Hill Road. And it's a little village. Ooh. Trick or treat, smell my feet. Give me something <laughs> sweet to eat. I don't even know the words. That's cool. Yes. So this is ribbon. So she put felt on the back. This is the fabric coming around the box, and this is glued down ribbon. So cute. And the very last one she sent is called Autumn Avenue, and this would totally fit my decor. It says, hey there, pumpkin. Aww. Get it all in there. And then she also has ribbon. So suit, this is a cute original way to 
display these. And on this one, she stitched on 28 count Lugana Even Weave in the color wheat. So let me know if you have any questions on any of the little Stitch Girl stuff. Again, Jordan and Jamie, they have a um, YouTube channel. From Princess P, Holly Martin, would love to know what that spiral thingy is on the bottom of all of these finishes. Okay, so it's, um, I don't exactly know where she got it, but it's like a little, it's like, I don't know, Denise. It's like those, um, it's like, like oh yes, okay. Oh, it's a picture it's a, okay. stand. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it's this. Sorry, Jordan. But it's also, sorry, Jordan. It's like what you could put, like if you were doing a wedding and you put a name tag mm -hmm. on your yeah. pay, on yeah. your table. So it just pops up in there. I don't know what they're called. That's smart. Yeah, I don't know their name either. Yeah. If you guys know, please let us know in the comments. I never know the name. I always have something that I don't know the name. <laughs> uh, let's see. Jenny Lombardo was saying, we want to meet Denise, too. She is awesome. That's she funny. is awesome, but she does not want to be on camera. So she's <laughs> not going to be, and she doesn't want to be. Yes, we will have to be content with her whispers as yes. we hear them through the mic. Um, from Iris Rivera, can you gift Fright Night? I guess in general. Email Denise at fatquartershop.com because that is something Denise would have to do. Okay. Uh, let's see from Susan Clark. Do you remove your hoops when you are finished for the day's work on a project and do you fold or roll the project when you store it in the project bag? I would recommend taking the hoop off. I stitch in hand, but I literally throw it in the bag. But one thing that I usually do, I haven't started this one yet, but when I do this, what I will do, like say, this is where the pumpkins go. Can you scroll out, in, out, sorry. Yeah, so this is where my pumpkins would go. I usually do something like this and throw it in the bag. Mm. That's usually what I do. And then if it doesn't fit all the way in the bag, like I'll just put it in here. If it doesn't fit, right, it doesn't fit. So I'll just kind of turn it. That's what I do. Uh, from Nandy H, does fabric shrink when you tea dye? Yes. How much it would shrink, I don't know because I don't tea dye. So if you have any questions on tea dyeing, you can go to Lori Holt's channel, which is called Lori Holt, or you can go to Stitching with the Housewives. They also have a video on it and they will answer your comments in the comments so that you can get an accurate answer on that mm -hmm. since i'm not an expert in that yeah um also people are saying they're called place card holders place card holders thank you place card holders. thanks everyone from nicole zeisler question is there an eta on out of stock gentle arts floss it is four weeks so we have stuff basically they're shipping in one to two weeks when we order but you have to count in shipping to us so i would say three weeks Every, every day, even on Saturdays, I order thread or Denise orders thread. So everything is ordered and they were about three to four weeks behind. They've caught up and now they're only one to two weeks behind. It's just that it ships from another state. So that would take, you know, a while to get to us. So I would say three weeks, um, four weeks if you want to be conservative, but everything is on order. Okay, let's see. And Valeria Bauer was asking when she is going to receive her stitch card F so she can start on Friday with you. Valeria Bauer. We can look it up for you, Valeria. We're going to look it up, um, but we shipped that out. Yes. So we'll have to look that up and Denise will email you later. Okay. And she's also asking if we have the floss set for Looks Like Christmas by Shannon Christine. No. Uh, okay, we have more questions, but I can save those for a little later. Okay, so for Parade of Homes, this is something that we started in January of 2020, and what we were doing was just encouraging you to stitch something with a house in it throughout the year, and so we're continuing that, and I'm just going to show you what I've been stitching, what some other people who work here have been stitching. So this one I stitched last year and it's September by Country Cottage Needleworks. I stitched on 14 count lamb's wool by Ada 
and I used Call for DMC and these are frames from Family Tree Frame Company. We do have all of them on order. Um, they just take a while because they're handmade. So that's my Parade of Homes. The next one is Santa's Village. Ooh. Santa's Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. This is a 12 part series. So you could do each of these separately or together. And if you wanna stitch it together, you would find the instructions for the border on Country Cottage Needleworks website for free. Cheryl is stitching this on Platinum 32 Count Lugana by Zweigart. She's using the called for colors and obviously she's stitching it as one piece. So she is on the bottom row so she just started this part wow. it's gonna be beautiful mm -hmm. and if you're stitching something like this you would probably need to do something like a 32 count because it's so big this is big even at 32 count and she does stitch with the hoop and when she's done stitching she leaves it out of the hoop and I think she just probably puts it in her bag just like this The next one is stitched by Deborah. This is Glitter Village. Ooh. I know, it's fancy. It's so pretty. Glitter Village by Country Cottage Needleworks. She's stitching on raw silver 32 count Belfast, which is what is called for. I actually bought this fabric, but I decided I can't do it because I just can't see it and it's linen, but it is beautiful. She's using the called for colors and she did change the white to 3865. And this one also is Country Cottage Needleworks and you can also do these individually or as one piece. And again, the border instructions for this are available on the Country Cottage Needleworks website for free. The next one is also stitched from Deborah or by Deborah. This one is Welcome to the Forest by Country Cottage Needleworks. This one is a seven part series. She's stitching on Smoky Blue 32 Count Even Weave by Fabric Flare. And this one you can also stitch individually or as one piece. And again, the border and assembly are available on Country Cottage Needleworks. She's stitching with DMC and Classic Color Works. The next one is stitched. Oh, it's finished. Wow, Angel finished it. Oh my God. It's cute, right? That looks really good. So it's Snow Place Like Home. It's a five part series. Angel stitched it. The fabric is Lamb's Wool 14 Count by Witchell. She's using the called for colors and she did one piece. So she turned it into a pillow. So she added a border. She added some top stitching. She added a really big binding. Chunky binding. Chunky binding, yeah. That's, and then look, you can put your pillow in here. Oh. Yep, fancy. Wow. It looks wow. good. That's, Oh, that looks so good. Mm -hmm. I love the fabric she chose also. Mm -hmm. So that's a great idea. The next one is Denise's. She's working on Gingerbread Village. She's doing them individually. This is by Country Cottage Needleworks. There are actually 11 of these. You can do it as one or you can do them individually. She's using Lamb's Wool 16 count, called for DMC. And if you want to do it as a one series that can also be found on Country Cottage Needleworks website on how to put that together. The next one I haven't shown you in a while. This one is stitched by Terry. Let me try to open it. Okay. She is stitching the early Americans. She's stitching on 18 count Ada tea coffee dyed and she tea coffee dyed it herself and she's using the called for classic color works and there are nine of these and Terry did the border herself so she designed it herself 
It's really nice. So she's almost done. She's halfway done. That's awesome. So that is our Parade of Homes. Let me know if you have any questions on that before I keep going. Mm -hmm. Let's see, from Miasia Osby, can we get a list of Fat Quarter Shop recurring annual quilt stitch events? I need a budget and plan for the year. So we kind of talked about that and that gets really tricky because we change things a lot and um, different things change in the background. So what I'm gonna do is tell you the general what we do, but we're not gonna do anything in writing just because that's kind of like scary and jinxes us. So every year we will be doing a Mania mystery piece, a Jolly July mystery piece, a Stitchtober mystery piece. We have other plans this year that I can't announce yet because Ooh. we don't want anybody else to do them. But that is what is set in stone for us, for cross stitch. Now for quilting, every year it changes. For quilting, every year we do the charity quilt and we do designer mystery quilt and everything else just changes based on kind of, you know, what inspires us that year. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see, Valeria Bauer is asking, what color is the cloth for Looks Like Christmas? We're looking it up. Yeah, we're looking it up. Uh, and then Krista Fairburn says, Kimberly, do you still enjoy cross-stitching as much since it's your job? Yeah. Yeah, because you know, what you should do in life is you should pursue your dreams. This company was all built on, on that. Um, I mean, I'd rather sit in a stitch than I would rather sit and work on the computer. So yeah. <laughs> if you can dream it, you can do it. Yeah, you just have to like work hard. Uh, okay, let's see. From Lauren Lee, can you do the loop method with more than one piece of floss? I have 10 count and it says to use four pieces of floss. So on 10 count, I do do the loop method. I use two, loop it over, that creates four. And on the question for looks like Christmas for Shannon Christine pattern, she lists 14 count Ada or linen or 28 count linen. She doesn't list the um, colors, but that would look good in maybe a wheat or a lamb's wool. But you can always email her and ask her what she recommends or the non-modeled side of oatmeal. Mm -hmm. And that's also available in 14 count or 28, 25 count. Okay, and then we had a super chat for 1999 uh, from LS Loves LS saying, thank you Fat Quarter Shop team for all you do. Always look forward to your live streams. Thank you. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. So now I'm gonna show you our whips and our stitched finishes and our frame finishes. So the very first one I've been showing for a bit, this is Quaker Pumpkins by Hello from Liz Matthews. This is the pattern. Cheryl is stitching this on 32 count vintage smoky white Belfast linen. She's using the called four threads and they are all Weeks Dye Works. So she's, I'd say a little bit more than halfway done. The next one is Land That I Love. She has it finished. So this is the last time you guys are gonna see it until she gets it framed. This is um, by Teresa Kogut. So I'm gonna put it here and then I might just hold it up because so you can see it, the whole thing. She stitched it on 32 count Legacy Lugana by Picture This Plus with called for colors and we are sold out of the thread pack and we will get more when um, the thread shortage kind of goes away. But in this pattern, it is a combination of classic color works, Weeks Dye Works, and DMC. So I'm just gonna show this to the front camera. Is that okay, Lily? Yeah. This is, a, this is what you call artwork. Mm -hmm. This is amazing. Like this is one of those things that I would like love to do, but I would not have the patience and there's no way I could see those holes. Mm -hmm. So pretty. I'm going to show you the back too. Look, her back. Wow. Y'all always say my backs are neat. Look at hers. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. So beautiful. So once she gets it framed, we will show it again. 
So this probably took her about three months, maybe. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Oh, it's so amazing. Mm -hmm. And then the very next thing that we have, I'm going to also hold up. Because yeah. I think it's too hard to see if I put it on the table. Well, maybe I need to put it on the table. Hold on. These are Lori Holt's Stitch Card Ds. It's hard to get this all looking good for the camera. So Lori Holt Stitch Cards, you get four cards per set. That's what we're using for the mix and match. And Denise found this frame at Hobby Lobby. We did a video that released this morning. There's a link to it below. This is sticky board with no batting. This is sticky board with batting. And this is a great way you can buy one frame and then for each season, you can do the stitch cards and interchange them and just take it off as you see. And this frame is from Hobby Lobby. It is in the video, but it is also 1676410. So if you want to do the stitch cards like we did. And then the next one, sorry, it looks, it's really hard to kind of show some of this stuff. Let me fix this. The next framed finish we have is from Susan Aki. So she just came out with another thread box. She works with Aurafil and does thread boxes. And this is what you would get in the box. These are all Aurafloss. And there is this free pattern called Little Quaker ABC. The pattern for this is free. You can find it on our website or our Phil's website. She stitched her sample on 36 count antique white. So if you did this on like a 28 count, 25 count, 14 count, it would be much bigger. And this is how she finished it. So this is a free pattern, but she has the thread box to go with it. The next thing I have is going to be a pop-up and it is going to be a coupon. Okay. So today we're offering you a coupon. It is one day only, so you have to spend it today. It will not work tomorrow. The coupon code is SPDAY20, which is in the bottom. It will apply to any cross-stitch supplies on the cross-stitch supplies category page. 24 hours, one day only, 15% off. It expires tonight at midnight Central Standard Time but it is to celebrate Stitch People today. So today is Stitch People Day. Stitch People Day is all about spreading joy and positivity to friends and family with personalized Stitch People portraits. So if you check out hashtag Stitch People Day, you will see more. And Stitch People is where you can buy, um, you can buy different PDFs, different books, and it shows you how to stitch the actual people. They have a great Facebook page you can follow and it kind of shows you in person, like really close up how they do the hair. It's really inspiring. Mm -hmm. And we will be selling some of their PDFs um, in the future and be working with Stitch People. So we're excited about that partnership. Um, I think if Lily goes and looks at the people, that will be what she stitches. Ooh. Because it's very, um, what they do is very original. It is very cool how they do the, the hair. And you can even, you know, give them a, you can even pay to get a family portrait done. You can like pay and they'll put together or they have books and then you can pick through like, okay, I want to do Lily. I want short hair. They have every skin color, every hair color, curly, straight, short, bangs, no bangs. It's really cool. You have to be very creative to do it. That's awesome. I'll have to check it out. Yes. Okay. So the next item that we have is I'm going to show you all of the new stuff. So this is brand new. This is a brand new. Bonnie and Camille Quilt B bag. And this goes with their brand new book. Inside, it's finished and it does have a pocket that has a zipper, which is always good when we can get a zipper in our bags. Mm -hmm. So I'll show it to you here. It's really, this is the back. And this is the front. And you can use it when we do the stitch along with her that is going to start next March. 
So in the book, The Bonnie and Camille Quilt Bee, there is a shine on sampler and we're gonna be stitching it as a sew along and we're gonna start it in March. I'm gonna show you next some new threads. We are going to be carrying color and cotton and we have half of our shipment in. We have 170 of the colors online now. 190 colors are going to ship to us in the next couple of weeks. So if you're looking for color and cotton thread, part of it is online now. And color is, has a U in it for when you search. We can also make it if they miss search that it'll come up. These are hand dyed threads and the difference between this and other manufacturers are there are eight yards, so you get more. So that's brand new to our store. We're very excited to work with them. We're also gonna be carrying some of their fabrics. I gotta get all this. And then I'm gonna show you some new patterns and then I'm saving the, the best for last. So this came in yesterday. It's called Be Like a Crow by Erica Michaels. It's kind of like a sampler. This one I love, it's called Pumpkins Please. Ooh. So if this would have come in before, I would have added this to Stitchtober. So I actually have a list already going for 2021 Stitchtober. <laughs> so I will put that on there. And this is Halloween Sampler by Cottage Garden. Halloween Sampler 2. Chelsea from Priscilla and Chelsea are stitching this and we have this on order so that we could um, sell it since so many people are asking because Chelsea is stitching it. This, a lot of these all came in yesterday. This came in yesterday. It is Mayflower Landing. This is an existing pattern that has been out quite a while, but we thought it would be great to carry now. Another little house needleworks is Bo Peep and her sheep. And we have two Shannon Christine new ones. This is Tis the Season to Sparkle, but it's called Season to Sparkle. Mm -hmm. And this is Trick or Treat Sampler. So those are our patterns and thread. I'm very excited about the color and cotton. And we also received our all of our 14 count that we ordered for Picture This Plus. So I'm gonna show you all the colors. And with this, we are going to be loading the 28 count that we ordered later this week to early next week. They came in two different shipments. So 14 count is on order. If there are any colors you want us to add, you just email us. Email Denise at backquartershop.com. Can you tell me what this says? Tyco? I think so. T-Y-C-H-O, I think is the color. This is 14 count. We will have these in 28 count. We'll show them next week. This is Legacy. So you will see Legacy is used in a lot of patterns. So this is the color that Land That I Love was done on. And I'm gonna show you that it looks different on Ada than it does on Linen. So the color comes out different. Mm -hmm. And it's because this is 100% cotton. You know, it's different materials. Different material takes the dye differently. So if you dyed fabric exactly like Lori or exactly like Priscilla and Chelsea on their videos, it might come out different because of the fabric you're dyeing on. And I don't wanna pretend that I know anything about dyeing because I don't. This is sand. So those are kind of the first three so that are cream. Tyco, Legacy, and Sand. I'm gonna kind of do these in colorways. This is Petals. These all are fat quarters, 18 by 27. We're gonna start with 14 count and 28 count in fat quarters. We will move to other things as time goes on. This is Shale. Shale, how do you say this like a Texas accent? Shale, earthen, shale. <laughs> how do you say it right? Shell? No. S-H-A-L-E. In a lot of Brenda Gervais with thy needle patterns. And hands on design. So I'm gonna leave that one alone. These are our grays. Sterling. 
tarnish and shadow now I will tell you that Denise about was jumping up and down in my office over shadow she loves it she can't wait to use it <laughs> so those are the grays again sterling tarnish and shadow and then the blues that we got mint mm -hmm. I know it's pretty right mm -hmm. whirlpool glacier this is calypso so again mint whirlpool glacier I'm going to move these because this color is throwing it off this is calypso the last gray we have is dapple and serene so these are all hand dyed 14 count picture this plus and these are the colors we're starting with if there's any colors you're interested in let us know again we are starting with 14 count it's online now we were adding our shipment of 28 count later this week and we're starting with fat quarters so if you're interested email us colors on 14 and 28 count in a couple of months we will add different sizes so um so that we can do it in batches but if you're interested in other colors email denise at fatquartershop.com or you can email me and i will forward it to her because she does the ordering all right uh lots of questions that have been okay. coming in during the live stream uh from Anne maria makowski will you be carrying fawn from ptp she'll write it down and she'll order it today excellent uh teresa harper had asked uh i am looking for a uh, light gray 14 count Ada. I have a silver from Hobby Lobby by Zweigart, but I'm wondering if a lighter color is available. Pewter? Pewter and graceful gray. Graceful gray is lighter than pewter, right, Denise? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then Yvonne Susmith had said, so excited. This is the first time I can see the whole stream live from start to finish. Yay! So excited. It is kind of funny when you watch lives later. Um, cause I do watch them later and it's kind of awkward cause you want to talk to the person, but you can't. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. My favorite thing is when they, um, when you guys still like go in the comments and like leave comments as you're watching. Cause then you just read them in succession. You're like, oh, they were watching this part when they said this. Yes. Uh, okay. From Robin Trant, I'm making the fall y'all scarecrow cup and need help with the A in the words. Any suggestions? Email Cheryl at fatquartershop.com. She is a pro. It's C-H-E-R-Y-L. She's a pro, and I know she can answer. If you email me, I'll probably be lost. But I think that she can probably help you the best. Mm -hmm. From Gail Stale, will there be new fabrics for the Mako-ish sew-along cross-stitch in dark colors? Um, no, we're just doing navy. But we are adding, picture this plus, we are also adding um, color and cotton fabrics um they're dyeing them right now and there are some darker so when denise and i order fabric we think about what do our customers want there are probably a hundred colors we can't buy all a hundred colors so we pick a couple of whites a couple of neutrals a couple of grays a couple of blacks and then some bright funky colors so that we have an assortment but yes and we're going to just keep adding to our cross stitch um so any suggestions you have you can definitely send them sometimes we say yes sometimes we say no but i will say 80 percent of the time we say yes uh, Hudson Johnson was asking, are those soft or stiff? Soft, right? Yeah, very soft. So this would be harder for me to stitch on because it is so soft, but I would get the hang of it. But it is definitely, if you put this next to Witchell, night and day, this is very soft. Some people like soft, some people like stiff. I prefer stiff, but you're not gonna get a hand dyed look with that and it's, it's beautiful and each of these now one thing to remember this and this these are hand dyed if you buy this one day it might look different than the next time you buy it when you buy this the next time you buy it it might look different it's hand dyed uh, from Cheryl Shan sorry Cheryl Cher will you offer picture this plus fabrics as a monthly subscription yes Ooh. in 2021 excellent uh let's see from amanda elaine do these bleed at all when handled no all right. 
And I want to be honest, I've never used it, but this Picture This Plus has a great reputation. Cheryl has used it for years. Um, so Cheryl is definitely the expert and Cheryl's the reason we're buying this. Um, she suggested we buy it, so we are. Um, but I've never used it, but I, but I definitely will. Because 2021 is the year of Ada. That's what I'm calling it. Mm. And everything that we planned on Monday, I'm doing everything in Ada that I can come up with. Mm -hmm. I just got to go back to Ada because I, you saw the list that I have. I can go so fast on Ada. And I like it. I like, I just enjoy it. Mm -hmm. From Jennifer Aragon, you could starch it though, yes? I mean, I don't know. I've never starched it. I wouldn't. I would say no. Uh, from Susan Jeffries, if you purchase previous card sets and just signed up for Lori Holt stitch cards, will you be sent duplicates of earlier sets? No, we start right now. If you sign up, you get set F. If you start when G comes out, you'll get G, et cetera, et cetera. If you want past months, you could put a note in your order or something. From So Girly, will you be offering a coloring cotton thread subscription? We'll put it on the list for 2021. Uh, Gabriel Fuentes says, how's Piggy? Piggy's good. Aww. He's been really lazy. He's been sleeping until like 11. We let him sleep in now until like 11. And then that's when like FedEx and UPS start showing up at our house. Um, and then he starts going crazy. Aww. So guys, thanks for watching. I'm so excited that you watch me. I'm honored, Lily's honored. Mm -hmm. um, we're so happy that, to be part of your lives. Um, and I will see you next week and we're gonna cross our fingers that I get all my stuff done for, for um, Stitchtober. Make sure you hashtag FQS Stitchtober so we can see what you're stitching and Lori can see what you're stitching and I'll see you next week. Have right. a great week. Bye everyone. <laughs>